Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Take Two Fishing. My name is William, and of course, I'm still your host. And as promised, I'm here to do a kayak review, an honest kayak review at that, on the Feel Free Lure 13.5. And man, this thing is a hoss. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's do this. This is my honest opinion, my honest review on the Feel Free Lure 13.5. A uh, lot of reviews that's out there on YouTube, to be honest with you. But I found some things that needed to be discussed with you guys because if you're going to buy it, I wanted you to uh, buy or beware in this situation. Uh, first of all, this thing weighs right at 100 pounds when you install a seat in this thing. So if you don't have anything going more than say uh, 25, 30 feet, uh, feel free kayaks are notorious, uh, notoriously known for that wheel in the keel. But I am going to highly recommend a kayak cart for you guys i wound up going with the uh, sea tug it's just a matter of opinion uh, of course this is the one that i went with simply so i could break it down and throw it in my front hatch so with that being said let's kind of start here at the front and let me just kind of run you guys through a few things that i personally did um, they do make a kayak a kayak lighting kit for various brands of kayaks and uh, what have you but I have not reached the point to uh, feel as if it's necessary to drill holes as of yet in my kayak. Um, on the very front here, I wound up going with a Lux Pro flip light. This is just a little battery operated light. Uh, if I'm out in the water when the sun goes down, it's all basically about safety. I just simply placed a piece of Velcro on the front there and that works best for me so that's the route that i took good and sturdy don't have to worry about it falling off uh, next coming back here to the uh, lid everyone knows about the three-point latch system that's on the uh on the lid there's no sense of getting in it i'll put these puck style lights one on the inside of the holding compartment here and another one i'll get to in just a second but I wanted to show you something, something that I personally done that I think worked out best for me was is I took a piece of Velcro on both sides of the kayak in here and I put me some of these retractable ID badge holders. I'll pull one out so you'll see. That's a retractable ID badge holder with a carabiner on it. A piece of soft Velcro on the back side and I simply take and place those on there anything that i'm going to secure inside here i don't have to worry about sliding to the back of the kayak simply because i've actually got it on the carabiner i like that i wound up doing it on as i said both sides of the kayak front uh, uh probably goes uh right about here the back runs to about right here three on each side currently so i like the way i've got that uh i've got that set up moving back just a little bit um if we uh something else i did do uh this is my fishing net it's not the greatest fishing net in the world but as you see um 
it's got a uh, magnet right there so there's a magnet here on the bottom and then there is a magnet that's also here i use gorilla glue i got those super strong magnets um gorilla glue first then rtv black rtv uh, i just simply taped the magnet on this side of my net so if uh, i decided i want to switch to a different net then i could just simply take the magnet off i don't have to worry about sliding off it's good and good and secure um, i noticed today um, that one of my screws had fallen out here so be mindful of that check these screws maybe use some uh, thread lock on them to kind of assure that they're not going to go anywhere i put another puck style light here um, so that when i'm out at night if i happen to be out at night um, i can see in this compartment a lot of guys make this a bait well a lot of guys make it a drink holder um, me personally i store my scotty mount rod holders in here uh, and my yak attack uh, pole flag when i'm not using it this little box here i've actually got set up for just miscellaneous items some batteries a headlamp a couple of retractable uh, beaners in there as well i simply put it down with a heavy duty velcro as you can see uh, i don't have to worry about it coming loose or anything simply because it's being held in place with the velcro moving back to the center pod i done my center pod just slightly different i wound up installing a switch here and i've got an led light on both sides and of course when i turn this off the led lights turn off um, i put me some blue led lights on again both sides of the sonar pod and i've actually got these set up on a remote control so when you press the remote uh, you can control to 100% brightness, 50% brightness, or 25% brightness, or you can just move it up um, manually to the brightest mode. Pretty bright when it comes to the nighttime. Put me a piece of Velcro there, soft on this remote, hard on the sonar pod. That way I don't have to worry about losing my uh, controller. This thing works up to about 25 feet, I've noticed. Um, so I was kind of happy about that. Moving back just a little bit more, we'll look at the rails. I love Yak Attack uh, accessories that come out. Uh, I have not decided to put me a trolley system in for my anchor yet, so I wound up just installing a cleat on this side, cleat on the other side as well. One rod holder, I'm sorry, one paddle holder. Uh, the paddle just simply lays across the front. I can put it in here. Um, as far as the fishing rod holders, I wound up going with the Scotty. Uh, I like these particular Scotty brand mounts. Um, the quick disconnect, just really clean. Um, this works for two different styles. It works for bait casting, which you come over, or it works for the spinning rod, which you just simply come under to lock the rod in. As you can see, the rubber here is on the back side, or on the front side, rather, of this rod uh, reel here, I'm sorry. Um, I wound up going with the Lawrence Hook 2.5 uh, clean install. I like the way it installed and everything. I put me a ram extender on here so that I could actually tilt it up and get closer back to me. That's a great distance between my eyes and this display on this thing. So I put me a, about a six inch ram extender on here to kind of get it back a little closer to me. Um, I can simply just move this up whenever I'm fishing and standing or I can leave it in that position there when I'm sitting in the seat. Um, I took out the stand assist strap and I wound up putting me a lanyard here with a Rapala scale system. That was just again my preference uh, leash for my paddle. Uh, I like that. That's set up as well. Um, come back and I'm sorry come back over here on the other side of the kayak you'll see that I placed a piece of velcro right here um, you can never really have enough uh, tools on your kayak for cutting string what have you so I just wound up going that route uh, works best for me 
uh, on the seat. I came back here with a keychain. Um, I don't a keychain lanyard. I think is what they call these as well. And this is how I wound up putting in my pliers and my fish grips on both sides so that I don't lose those. I uh, do like that. Um, now that we're here at the seat, let's talk about the seat. So when I first got the seat, I noticed that uh, there were some problems right off the bat. One being that the bolts had actually started already to, to back out. Um, and they recommend tightening these bolts down. But listen, if you over crank, then the seat doesn't scissor as it's supposed to because you've torqued the bolts too tight. So my recommendation is, is to pull them out and put some blue thread lock on them, which is what I did to ensure that I don't have to worry about these things backing out. Um, I seen the other day a gentleman, which I don't, I don't really get the sole purpose of this. You know, it's, it's kind of ideal for a small Plano tackle box to kind of fit right in here. But if you've got the seat down, um, this tool bag actually hits um, the Plano box, so it doesn't work out. But I seen a guy the other day. He took a clip and had it right here on this side, and he pulled this up and over that clip, and he actually locked another fishing rod in place and i thought hey that's that was a pretty good idea right there um again moving back just a little bit more uh my gopro cameras uh they too do tend to need a little bit more juice than what i can offer them as far as that little single battery so i wound up getting this 1200 milliamp battery um, and i just simply velcroed here and voila I got the cable so that my rear camera can be charged uh, while I'm using it. Moving back just a little bit more, you see I've got some uh, attachments here and the sole purpose of this is so that I don't lose my tackle bag or my cooler when I'm in the water. I wind up going with the Mustang uh, inflatable life jacket, I, I like that. Now we get to something that I can complain about just a little bit. The beaver tail rudder system. A lot of people know what the beaver tail rudder system is. This is the actual uh, latest uh, rudder system that you can purchase through your ACK dealer. Installed it myself and one of the problems that I found was is there's a bolt that runs from the top side through the bottom side and there's some spacers that they want you to install while you're installing this rudder but the thing is is the through pin it comes with a small clevis and they expect or anticipated that you would use that clevis to secure that pin that does not happen that pin really is not even long enough uh, as it should be at least a half inch longer to use the clevis. So I'm sure that you guys are going to find this out if you decide that you go with the beaver tail on the Feel Free Lure 13.5. The, uh, the rudder system took me uh, probably about 45 minutes to install. It wasn't too terribly bad. The, uh, the instructions aren't exactly um, top class, I guess you could say, but for the most part, uh, if you just simply take your time and follow the instructions, you will be able to make heads or tails of it. But again, on the install, here's something else that I kind of wanted to bring to your attention. Make sure that on this pull cord here, you go over your first roller and under your second roller. Again, over your first from the furthest point back and under the second. Uh, there's no clarification on that, but if you actually come under uh, when that when that beaver tail is actually traveling, you're pulling a lot more strain on this cable. Another thing that I noticed on this beaver tail rudder system is that that paddle that pedal over there, that toll controller, actually has to be pressed um, the, the pressed down in order to make it easier to retract using the pull cable. Um, it's not exactly easy to get up, but you know, like I said, 
uh, with just some uh, common knowledge of working with it, you'll kind of find out what works best for you. But what works best for me to get this up without a whole bunch of trouble is like I said, press that right toe pedal towards the front of the kayak seems to make it a lot easier for me anyway. Um, if not, it seems like um, there's gonna be a lot more tension placed on, on this point right here, this holding clip, which only has two Phillips head screw dry, uh, screws in it about this long. So that's kind of a, an unfortunate situation. There's no backing behind it. So basically you're just simply putting those screws into the plastic as it is. Well, there you have it, my honest walkthrough of the Feel Free Lure 13.5. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, leave me a comment in the comment section. If you got any ideas of what I should do next, let me know about that. I definitely am up to making beneficial changes to my kayak. I love this thing though, at the end of the day, I truly do. Um, friends, I appreciate you watching this video. Make sure, like I said, to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. I'll comment back to you. Giveaway days is still going, so don't forget about that. We'll be giving some more items away throughout the remainder of 2019. Be safe. I appreciate it. Until next time, see you. There you have it, fan. Uh, there you have it, guys. My aunt what you'd like to see or what you would recommend that I do to this kayak or just simply a, a some sort of tech uh, tech uh, blah blah blah